Good evening, Lake Orion. Well, nice, warm, hot, humid day. Soon to be storming. Good, good storm soon. <clears throat> well, I'm your host, Anthony, and I am a Termina. Yes, indeed, Lake Orion. How you doing today? Sam, how you doing today? You know, it's kind of odd that we have no... We could have brought back Ian Jr. It would have been perfect. I'm beginning to wonder what Ian's... Well, I'm beginning to be very curious what Ian's excuse is going to be this time, especially because Oakview has... You know, because Oakview has track practice that does that. You know, there's a shortened track practice. Oakland County Middle School meet is this week. And it's Thursday. It's Thursday, and it's a shortened practice. And I'm curious what his excuse is going to be this week. You know what? I'm curious, too. You know what I mean? I'm curious, too, what he's dealing with. It is what it is. All right. Well, nonetheless, let's start talking about, um, got a couple things. Um, first thing, let's talk about the NHL and NBA playoffs. The NBA playoffs, let's talk, let's talk about that. It's You've interesting. Got, I'm watching it again. Well, you've got Cleveland dominating Atlanta right mm -hmm. now, 3-0, going for the sweep tonight. And then you got Golden State up 3-1 on Houston. Houston won last night, and then Dwight Howard got to spend a, spend a lot of quality time with some fans after the flooding of Houston. But, but I mean, you look at the potential of, it, of two playoff series ending so early. How much will that impact the NBA? It's going to hurt financially because when you look at the NBA, um, it's the league that – Relies a lot on revenue, um, the carry itself, especially. Um, they want to see their, um, you wonder, you question the ratings, you know what I mean? Like, um, what would happen if Cleveland plays Golden State, the matchup between Stephon Curry that's a great and LeBron James? Attract, that's, a, that's, a, that's attractive rating for mm -hmm. the NBA Finals. You look at Steph Curry going against LeBron James mm -hmm. and his team, you know, can Cleveland possibly win a ring? I mean, you've got a lot of storylines attracted to it, too. But you know, but when you look at it right now, um, when you look at with my aunt, with um, with Cleveland going up against them, um, with going up against Atlanta, Atlanta's completely overmatched. Al Horford, I think, is out again tonight, serving a suspension. No, he's not serving a suspension. He's not. He's playing. Oh, he's playing. He is playing. Okay. So, when you look at that matchup, I just think that I think Atlanta wins. I mean, like, I don't think Atlanta wins tonight against Cleveland. I really don't because I just think. This series is over, you know what I mean, between Cleveland and Atlanta. You really think that the series is over? Well, have you noticed something, too? LeBron James isn't going against a dominant, isn't being guarded by anyone. No. Any, no offense to Atlanta, but Atlanta doesn't have well, anyone that can hurt. guard. Right, you know Carroll I mean? is hurt, but Atlanta doesn't have anyone that can guard LeBron James. Yeah, they don't. And you look at the difference in this series between LeBron James and Atlanta, you know, and, and his, the past LeBron James' series is in the conference finals. He has somebody that was capable and quality enough that could guard him. Mm -hmm. Atlanta, no offense to Carroll, but they don't have anyone to guard. Neither is Golden State. So, I mean, you look at it. Yeah, but possible? Cleveland's got no one to guard step on Curry, though. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. And Kyrie, Irving. Kyrie Irving's going to be coming back. So, mm -hmm. you look at how Cleveland, Cleveland particularly, you know, matches up well with <laughs> Atlanta and Golden State. But my question, do you think <laughs> Della Denova is a dirty player? Uh, and the, yeah, no, because well, he's bowing for the basketball. You know what I mean? You think, why? You know, because he's bowing for the ball. You know, he's doing what's right to help his team out. He's he's a bench player forced to start for for this team. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. do I think he's a dirty player? No. He's just bowing for the basketball. Now, I think Al Horford is a dirty player. What? Because and what he did to him, um, what he did, he should not put an elbow. Is his shoulder on the guy? But he did the rock bottom, or no, the people's elbow. Yeah, he should not have elbowed the guy. You know what I mean? This is not WWE. But you look, Della Denova hurt Kyle Corver. Does the Hawks have a beef over? And then Della Denova did with Lou Aldang in the Chicago, or no, Taj Gibson in the the Bulls series. Well, you know, a lot of people are gonna say he's a dirty player. I just don't think he's a dirty player. He's just battling for the basketball. You know what I mean? 
Now, I don't know what he did with the Todd Gibson incident that involved mm-hmm. with Todd, Todd Gibson getting thrown out, and then Al Horford got thrown out. I think he's been involved in a lot of things. He's probably a pest, but he's not a he's not a um, dirty player. So going so you think it'll probably be a Cleveland Golden State final? I think Houston's going to win another game in Golden oh. State. Okay, it would not surprise me. I think Houston has proven they can win. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But that game three loss, that blowout loss, is bothering mm-hmm. Houston. Um, I just think that. If Houston can somehow win games five and six and get game seven back at Golden State, I think it's going to be an interesting final. Let's talk, let's go switch gears a little bit. NHL, uh, Tampa Bay's up 3 2 over New York. Anaheim's up 3 2 over Chicago. Do you see both those series going seven games? Yes. Okay, why? Well, I take that back. One no, one yes. The Tampa Bay New York Rangers series, that series is over because you look at. You look at the way that um, Henrik Lundqvist has played mm-hmm. and that he has not been a consistent goalie, whereas Ben Bishop's done okay, and then he's, you know, this is a matchup where I just think Tampa's a better team here than New York. Mm-hmm. And then I just think that Tampa closes that series out tonight, goes to the final. And then in the other series, Chicago and I think that series is over in favor of Anaheim. Anaheim's too big, too physical um, for Chicago to handle. You know, and um, it showed last night, you know, Chicago's got a lot of resilience, resilience especially coming back from two goals down, scoring two goals late in the late in the game. But, you know, but Anaheim didn't panic, and they ended up winning that game. But the series shifts to Chicago. Mm-hmm. So I could see, I see Chicago win that game, and that's going to go game seven. It's simply at Anaheim. So you think that? Yeah, I, think that I think Eastern Conference ends tonight. Western Conference goes seven games. Do you think the Eastern champion has a chance against the Western champion? No, I think the Western champion is going to beat the Eastern champion. So you think like either Anaheim or Chicago can yes. beat Tampa or New York? Mm-hmm. Okay. Any final thoughts? You know, I'm watching the NBA again. You know what I mean? It's interesting. But I'm keeping an eye on July 1st. That's a big day for a lot of people. Oh, wow, that's free Start agency. Start a free agency. Yep. Start a free agency for both mm-hmm. the NHL and the NBA. Yep. Pistons got the number ninth pick in the draft. Eight. Or eighth pick in the draft. So. I'm curious to see who they pick. I'm curious to see that, too. I mean, who, who you think Stan Van Gundy can make a good pick? I hope so. I got two things right now. The Lake Orion situation that interests me a lot. And, yeah. then, and then, you know, the Dallas Stars. That's my interest right now. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll be right back with Between Tammy and Us here on ONTV. Hello, I'm Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard. And I'm former Detroit Red Wing Joe Coaster. We'd like to remind you to practice safe boating by knowing the laws regarding water safety. Please make sure you have the necessary safety equipment on board and be sure all of your equipment is working properly before leaving the dock. And the probability of being involved in a boating accident nearly doubles when alcohol is involved. Always check local weather conditions, and if you notice darkening clouds, play it safe. Get off the water. Have a safe, enjoyable summer on the lake. Welcome back to Between Terminus here on Owen TV. Look who showed up. Look who showed up. Missed one segment already. Looking up see through. Yeah, whatever. Cool. So, what did we talk about? You just missed the NBA. You missed NBA and NHL playoffs. Now, we're going to talk about something that you might be responsible for the Detroit Tigers. <sighs> they, are, they, are, they split a series with Houston, with the Astros, who are actually pretty good this year. Then they lost to the Athletics. Are you to blame for this series the way it is? Sammy, explain. Here's why Ian's to blame. <laughs> this is why you're to blame. It's one, because, look, your bullpen is terrible. 
Explain to me why you're sitting three Did games. the bullpen not score a run last night? No, they did not score okay. a run. Okay. Do I explain to you? Did the bullpen Astro. Did the bullpen Did the bullpen they give up a pinch the hit home run to Justin Tucker, whoever that was? No. Yeah, that was, was yeah but did the, did the bullpen lose the game for the Tigers? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. Did they? Yeah. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. They did. Hi, I mean Witherspoon and I am. <laughs> no, you're not. Between <laughs> Carminas. Did you just do a promo? Yeah. No, he did that. Yeah, maybe. No, he did that. All right, so the Tigers are now the three games back of the Royals right now. They're in third place right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tied with the tw- oh wait, the Twins are ahead of them. Yes. How does that happen? Time to explain that panic button meter. It's right now at a level 50, right now. Did you go up north over the weekend? Yeah. You should have stayed up there. Why? I don't need this. Yeah, because your beloved Kansas City Royals lead the division. And then the Minnesota Twinkies pass the Tigers. I can't believe the Twinkies are ahead of the Tigers right now. How does that happen? I don't know. I guess the Twins are surging, the Royals are still being consistent, and the Tigers are slumping. That happens. Brad Os- do you think Brad Osmus shares blame for what's going on? I think Brad Ausmus some of the has a little the too much trust in some of his pitchers. Leaving Sanchez out against Houston to that guy. Tucker. Bad idea. Bad well, here's idea. Here's the thing. I think Ausmus, I'm going to be honest, I think he needs to be fired. Because here's why. Grow up. Here's why. Because. Who's going to replace him? You Ron could, Gardenhier? I think Ron Gardenhier would have been a perfect choice for Brad Ausmus. Gardy? Yeah, Gardy hire would have been a perfect hire over Brad Austin. Because I'll Garden hire you. Here's why. When you look at what the mistakes he's made, I think the decision making it starts with Dave Dombrowski, and then it goes to Brad Austin. Yeah. So you're saying Dombrowski is responsible for the both of them are the, responsible. I don't buy that. I think Osmus is to blame for because he's the one that's assi- that's that's writing down the players who are playing every day. Who's giving him the players though? Who's giving him players? Dombrowski. That's yeah, Dombrowski. But I'm talking about he's writing down the players who's playing every day. He's the one that's coming up with the lineups every day. So I think Osmus must share some of the blame. So what's the deal? I mean, Tigers are having a bit of trouble. Yep. Do we? Are we aware how many games are in a regular season of Major League Baseball? Two games. Mm-hmm. How Tigers many have they played right now? Mid 40s. They're in trouble. They're not in trouble. Yes, they are. They're not in trouble. Yes, they are. No, they're not. You think it's Minnesota's going to gonna stay hot? Oh, I think Minnesota will stay hot. Oh, they're going to stay hot? Yes. With Kurt Suzuki, Torrey sure. Hunter batting fourth. Yup, and they got Joe Maurer. I Does mean, he have a home run yet? He's had one. He's had one home run. Here's the thing, Ian. Kansas City, I don't think it's going to be caught. Why? Because Best team ever? And they got a bullpen. They got power. They got, they got speed. How's they got Greg hitting. Holland look this year? Did you watch the Royals game last night? I heard about yeah, it. Yeah, you know who clubbed him? The yeah. Yankees. Yeah. Yeah. Yankees are clubbing everybody. Who was? No, they're not. They, they lost 10 of 11. They lost 10 of 11 before that game. They beat the Tigers. Well, because they had that short porch, it right. So? So what? So they still were struggling. Their bullpen is going to be a huge factor. You just watch. I, I know their bullpen's good. Yeah, the bullpen's very good. You don't think Tigers will make a bullpen move? Tigers, a bullpen's very good. Oh, sorry, take it back. Tigers, no, 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 no sorry. Been pretty the Royals, the Royals, the Royals bullpen is the best in the American League. Houston's got a good bullpen. Where, where does the Tigers rank? I don't know. Sixth right They're now? They're not good. They are not good. They are terrible. And, you know, baseball explain, season's long enough. You at, make let's, it a lot longer. This. Let's explain this. They ground so many double plays. Yeah, that's a problem. That's been a huge problem. That's I don't know why it's a huge issue. Why do they keep doing it? Because they let, because every team likes to ship the Tigers. And, of course, they don't know how to get base hits. The Kensler has been struggling. You look at, you look at, they don't have any speed besides Ghost and Davis. I mean, this is a team. Cespedes? Cespedes hits, a, he's a streaky guy, hits a lot. He can run. He hits in a lot of double plays. Romine's got moves. Iglesias can run. They all hit in a lot of double plays. 
You know? This no. team. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. This team catching so many double plays. They do. Funny. They do. That's an issue. They're not a good team. What do they have to do to be a good team? Develop speed. They got to bring up a certain star player. Lead the farm system alone and develop their players from within. I mean results, man. What results? What does their record have to be for Sammy Termina to finally say, okay, I trust the Tigers. They're good. 71 and 36. 71 and 36. Yep. They have to be over 30 games over 500. Yep. Yep. Which they won't be. What if they are? They won't be. They won't be. The Anthony, too tough. what do the Tigers have to do for you to say this is a good ball club? They need to improve their hitting. They need to improve their. Um, Let's have numbers. What what record? What record? Yeah, where do they got to be after eighty games? Least, Let's say halfway to, through the they season. They have to at least be. I would say at least ten games over five hundred. Now that's reasonable. That's reasonable. No, it's not. But I would say they have to at least be, you know, this isn't the Tigers we're used to seeing, having them no. compete against the Twins, having them compete against the Royals. Oh, what happens when the Tigers play the Twins head up? Tigers beat them straight up. Kill them. Whoop them. The Royals seem to be a little bit different for some strange reason. It's a, it's a even Steven C series. Kendry Morales is a difference maker. Well, I can't deny that Morales is, a, is, is not a difference. He is a difference maker, but... I just think the Tigers are still the class of AL Central, which the Royals are trying to prove wrong, but we're going to see how that goes. We will see. Because mm -hmm. you, so you know it was real streaky until the second half of last year? The Royals. Yeah. What yeah. about the Twinkies? Twinkies are going to fade. Twinkies don't have anything. Kansas City's going to be Cleveland's been surging. The Indians have been surging. Yeah, they've been better. Kansas City's going to be they fine. They swept the Reds. I mean, they got a big one with the Yankees, you know what I mean? Kansas City's going to be fine. I'm so tired of Kansas City. I'm so tired of them already. Why? Because they're annoying. Hey, they're your team. Eric Hosmer. Yep, Mike Moustakis. Mike Moustakis. Yep. He'll put me in my grave. Esteban Escobar. He's good. And then you got... Um, Mike Moustakis stinks. <laughs> and then you got... Oh, he's hitting 300. Alex Gordon. Ooh. Can't stand him. You got, let's see, Lorenzo Kane. He's all right. And then, of course, you got, and of course, that Kansas City team, you got that bullpen. Salvador pen. Perez. Salvador Perez, they got, they got him, that bullpen. Oh, Craig Sammy Holland. Day. Craig yep. Holland, yep. Willie Davis. Ian, Davis. Sammy slogan, but Ian is in an Ian Weatherspoon B Royal. Hashtag for Ian Weatherspoon. You can all visit this at Kansas City, Missouri, if you watch BT. Hashtag. Be royal. That will be Ian Weatherspoon's. I want to try to develop a new Twitter, um, a new Twitter, um, a new like Twitter feed for it's a, it should say Ian B Royal. Ian Weathers, Ian B Royal. When are you gonna take this show to KC TV, Kansas City P Public TV? Well, we'll talk about it. I've been in discussions. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, I can I can imagine because I feel we'll like we'll be right back with Between Two and Mina on ON TV. Hello, Lake Orion. It's Anthony Tiramina, co-host of Between Two and Mina. I want to let you know of a new show called History Now. In it, we're going to talk about global, national, and political events that occur in our lifetime. We're going to also have guests and also have co-hosts as well, and also plenty of surprises. Catch us on History Now here on ONTV. Hello Lake Orion and Oakland County. This is Sammy Termina here talking a new show here called OA Now. We're going to talk about sports from football to basketball to volleyball to track and field to soccer, cross country, etc. here on OA Now on ONTV. Welcome back to Between Terminas. We'll be right back with Between <laughs> Terminas here on ON TV. <laughs> it's not working. Oh. 
Hey, now he's just insulting poor Anthony. I hold him one. Uh huh. Oh. All right, what are we talking about, Ant? Where'd your mic go? Mic is gone. Go. Pick your mic up. Here's the thing. We got middle school. We got. We had this try meet coming up. We had the try meet already. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. You struggled. Yeah, I had a really bad day. Uh-huh. I had a really bad day. He had a really good day, and you had a good day as a girl. I had a mm -hmm. bad I had a, I didn't even get points with girls. Mm. That's tough. I yeah, know. It's hard. So Thursday, though. Oakland County meet. Mm -hmm. Big one for all three of us. You know, did you read the projections already out? No. Cassie's project. Your girl Cassie won all projected finish fourth. 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 Who's number one? How far? A girl from Berkshire throwing thirty-nine feet seven inches. And then there's two girls from Dunkinell throwing thirty-eight feet seven and thirty-seven four respectively. How many of those are you think are just not are just going like this all the time? How many you think are going like that? I'll bet you those. Th I'll bet you those three schools are doing that. You know are you mean? sure? You're questioning what do you mean by doing that. Real? I'm questioning. What well, do you mean? You think they're faulting? I think. Well, yeah. Technically. I, I think they're technically faulting. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think they're technically faulting because in in shop. So you're questioning their coaching. Of course I am. So if their shop coach watches the show, which I suspect they could, you're gonna say that they're not good coaches. You ever had any interaction with Dunk now? I actually beat one of their throwers, I think, went to Duck now. Duck now. I think I beat him in 09. First year on the job? Second year. Um, the thing I have an issue with in shot, guys, is um, you see how people try to, like, in shot, but you technically got to have to put on the neck. You know what I mean? You got to have it on the neck. You can't have it like this. I've seen, I am so sick and tired of people having their shots put right here. You know what I mean? It's, it's bothersome to me because, um, because one, it hurts this right here. It's hurts your elbow. It hurts your, um, even in technique, even in flight, it hurts your elbow. If you have it here on the neck, it limits, it limits the injury impact. You know what I mean? You know, it limits the injury impact. You know what I mean? It's gotta be somewhere on the neck. It's gotta be, yeah, I would suggest like right about here. You know what I mean? Not, I mean, here's You watch okay. college. Athletes, Olympic athletes, they're under the chin, but yeah. it's on the neck. Yeah, I, I, I think it's okay doing that. You know what I mean? I think it's okay, but um, but um, but if you have it like this, problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something we all three can agree on. That is rare. That is very rare. Mm -hmm. In the boys, my young man's projected to finish fifth, and your man's your young man's projected to finish seventh, and his is projected to finish 29th. No offense. Anthony, I said no offense. You still said it. I know. Hey, if it makes you better, hey, my I, girls project finish 21st. And mine's 19th in the girls. What about overall team projections? They do that? They don't no. do that. No, they don't do that, no. Hmm. Dunk Nell's expected to threaten in the teams. And then, um, I hear Novi's looking pretty good. Mm-hmm. Novi's no, always a bad. good team. It's going to be hot. It's going to oh, be yeah. hot. It's going to be humid. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be sunny, yes. That just zaps energy. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have a game plan? Do you have water? Do you have your kids hydrating? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to have them hydrating starting tomorrow night. Agreed. I agree with you. All night, all day, drinking water. I agree. I think also shade is very important. Got to stay out of the sun. Pick your spots. Kind I think it's important to pick your spots, especially um, if you're like at Clarkson High, you're basically, if you sit for, you know, you sit on that, um, West bleachers, I think you're in good shape. But if not, if you sit in that east one, you're going to get it bad. You know what I mean? We sit you under sit our east. bleachers. Mm -hmm. we, the think, kids sit under. I think the way that they have it set up there at Clarkson, um, you know, to be honest with you, I really don't like how it's set up there. I really don't. I Amp? think here's my reasonings for it. I think coaches should have every right to be down in the shop put area with their kids. I believe that firmly. I don't believe that they, you know, should be in the, with the spectators. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one thing to do it on the track, but on the sides, that you know, it's kind of like because you see shot put coaches, other shot put coaches. You know, we follow the rules. 
but they but they're on down in the pit. Do you think that if they, if they're doing it, that gives us every right to do it too? You know. So I mean, I just don't like how they do. No, it. I also don't trust the fact that all shots are provided by Clarkson. I just don't buy that at all because when you look at that perspective, you know, because I know last year I had to do an exchange with them mm -hmm. for the shots. Um, you know, kind of wasn't not. I was not happy to do it, but I did it anyway. But um. But um, it is what it is, but um, I think every coach has a right to be close to your kid, make sure that you, um, you know, to be a, um, to be right next to them, you know what I mean, to support them, you know what I mean, to even, even game plan, you know, I bet you all three of us are going to have game plans, you know what I mean, for, um, for our kids, you know what I mean, because we yeah. want to have what is the best for not only us as, th as our three teams, but also what's best for Lake Ori. Correct. Mm -hmm. I think the best for like Orion's most important because you know you look at it. We've got some very good shot putters, some discus throwers coming up for the high school program. Well, also got track athletes. For, yeah, you gotta track keep athletes that. too. Got mm -hmm. some great runners. Yeah, we do. We all three do. Question's going to be keep them out of lacrosse. You know uh -huh. what I mean? No offense to lacrosse or anything. Oh, I point. will offend lacrosse. You will. I, I have a lot of like respect for Coach Brad Thomas. I have a lot of respect. Brad Thomas is a gentleman and a scholar, but that sport. I don't like that sport. I think as track, as guys who've done track, who've been around track for so long, even going back to our senior years and junior years, you know. Oh, middle lacrosse school. Because was not, lacrosse was not a sport back when we were in high school. Not it was a school a club sport. sport. Yeah. It was a club sport, but now that it's, starting to become a little bit of a high or it's more of a high school sport I think that um it does get a little ir irky a little bit and um I think that the I get a lot of the cross balls in my car you know what I mean you do mm -hmm. I do can I have one sure I'll let you have one two sure really yeah cool I like those you can throw them against a brick wall and they bounce pretty good sure catching them. sure I'll let you have them for sure they're also good for a massage why do you say that you just rub rub out your pain Oh, yeah. So, the sticks and the players in the whole game, though, that's kind of pointless. Well, we well, have other our, our clock people keeper got does lacrosse, so i got to keep out of it. Well, yeah, I can keep in it. I don't like lacrosse. You have your opinion. Others have their opinion, so you got to respect we got to respect your opinion. you got, they got, you got to respect their opinion. So. Is mine an opinion or a fact, though? When I say this, lacrosse stinks. Is that an opinion or a fact? Opinion. Opinion. I, opinion. If I say it though, for lacrosse you, for you stinks. in your mind. For you in your mind, in your it's, mind a it's a fact. But it is a fact. For yeah. me, it's an opinion. It's an opinion, and for many other viewers out there who like lacrosse, you know, for those who like lacrosse, you know, they tend to think it's a, it's your opinion, but it is what it is. You look at the situation there. I mean, like, I just think I think all three of our teams are going to have success um, on Thursday. You know what I mean? Just hope. You know what I mean? Like, um, my goal, if we have, I would love to see all three of our teams in the championship podium holding up trophies. That'd be great. That would be what you've best done for it. Lake Orion. Anthony's done it. You know what I mean? And um, I want to do it. <laughs> you you have a shot put champion. I have a shot put championship. Yes. You know so. That's I don't. If have all three one. get, if all three of us get points at that meet, it'll be a success. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Okay, Anthony. Good night, Lake Orion. <laughs>